Let us now understand what is the scheme of studying a plant in taxonomy. Your first aim is to identify the name of that plant and identify the family to which it belongs. So when you want to study the plant in taxonomy, you have to first start with the root system, then the stem, then the leaf, then the floral region. So you have to study all these things one by one. This plant is called Cassia tora of the family Fabaceae and of the subfamily Cisalpinae. In this case, the leaf is a compound leaf. You can see here, this is a compound leaf and it's a unipinnately peripinnate compound leaf and the inflorescence in this case is the raceme. The carpal system. Then you are studying the stem. Next you are studying the leaf. The leaf in this case is a compound leaf. It is a uh, unipinnately peripinnate compound leaf. Then you are studying the inflorescence. The inflorescence in this case is a raceme. This is oxalis of the family Oxalidaceae. I am pulling out the plant here and uh, this is the complete plant and uh, we have to study from the root system. You can see this is the root system, this is the stem and uh, these are the leaves and this is the flower. So when you want to study the plant in taxonomy, first you must study the root system, then the stem, then the leaf, then the inflorescence and after studying the inflorescence by taking up individual flower in each flower, you are studying calyx, corolla, antrisium and gynesium. So these are the different parts that you are studying in taxonomy.